Ryusuke Iwasa versus Genesis Servania. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So to those who don't know, this fight between Iwasa and Servania uh, is scheduled for 10 rounds to take place on the 25th of October on a Tuesday. So keep that in mind. It's Tuesday, October 25, 2022, live over in Japan at the Korokan Hall in uh, Tokyo, Japan. And uh, and yeah, should be a, a good one. To those who don't know who Iwasa is, Iwasa is a former top contender, man. He He's coming for loss against MJ. Uh, back in April of last year. He hasn't fought since then. Uh, so due to inactivity, he was dropped out of the rankings. And um, and yeah, he defeated Marlon Tapales back in 2019. That was quite a shocker. I'm going to lie. I, I thought Tapales was going to win that one. But obviously, I was wrong. He was also defeated uh, Cesar Juarez. And he lost to uh, TJ Doheny back in 2018. And now here he is trying to rebound against uh, a fellow Filipino in Genesis Cervania. Genesis Cervania is from my home country, the Philippines, but he actually resides in Japan. He does a lot of, of his training in Japan. Um, I remember he, he'd spar in Inoue multiple times, um, and that's where he, he currently resides, apparently. 34-3 um, and 3 as a pro, 16 wins coming by way of knockout TKO, coming off a tough loss against Andre Cortez back in August of last year, where he got knocked out in the first round. Um... You know, I, I had high hopes for Cervania. I, I really thought he could be that next thing after he lost to Oscar Valdez in a fight where he, he showed a lot of, he showed very good effort in the fight. was able to knock down Valdez. And even though he lost that fight, he, he gained a lot of fans for his heart and determination. And he went on to win three fights. And then he fought Carlos Castro in 2019. And Castro was too much for him. And now, you know, that loss to Cortez was a, was a shocker. Uh, got knocked out in the first round. So let's see if he can rebound um, against Iwasa. Do I think he can? I'm a little biased. Uh, obviously, as a Filipino, I'm rooting for Cervania. Um, I want him to win. But <sighs> Iwasa is not, not an easy fighter to beat. I know Iwasa is coming for a tough loss as well. Uh, losing by TKO against MJ. But, you know, if... I'll say this though, if Iwasa is still the same fighter as he was last year, I think Iwasa will win. Cervania, he needs to bring his A game. Um, he's probably not the same anymore after that loss to Cortez. Uh, but but yeah, the, Cervania needs to bring his A game. If he can if he can hang around and take the power of Iwasa and stay active and stay busy, then I, I could see Cervania maybe pulling off a close decision win. But it won't be easy against Iwasa, who's lengthy and taller. Um, so, you know, I, I'll be rooting for Cervania. I want Cervania to win, but I think Iwasa got this. I think Iwasa will most likely win uh, by TKO in the second half. I'd say seven. I think he'll break apart Cervania. Uh, but I, I hope Cervania proves me wrong. I really do. I hope Cervania proves me wrong and uh, pulls off the big win here. But we'll see. We will see. I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. Anything is possible in the sport of boxing. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.